Hi party peeps, Belle here, bringing you some tarot wisdom on this Saturday evening. I'm hanging out here at my apartment with my two cats. Um, so I did this really cool tarot reading just now and I wanna show it to you. So the idea is to show a decent and an ascent, kind of like, um, coming like uh, in spiritual tradition so they say we are we come here into form and then we ascend back into a more spiritual state so uh, i was kind of thinking along those lines as, and so i wanted to do a tarot reading what i ended up doing is one reading and i didn't really get it so then i did another reading exactly the same on top of it with a different deck and it turned out pretty cool with the two different decks so I wanted to show you the cards I got and um, talk a little bit about what I'm thinking about those images. Okay. Okay, so I'll start out by saying that the first deck that I used to do the original reading is the Night Sun Tarot, which I really like. Um, so I'm, what I'm doing for this reading is seven cards. So what I'm doing is the Decent, one, two, three, the Ascent, one, two, three, and the seventh card to kind of shed some illumination on the other cards. Okay, so, hey Jen, you wanna be in this video? So my two cards are here, cards are here, my two cats are here, so my hair them in the background. Okay, so the first, I guess I should lay these out the way I got them first. So the, uh, let's see. Yeah, I should probably lay them out one second. Okay, so here we go. So you can kind of see a little bit more what I'm doing here. So first I had, like I said, I had the Night Sun Tarot. So those are these cards with the black background. And then when I didn't understand what the Night Sun Tarot was talking about, I used the Alchemical Tarot on top of it. So what we'll do is the Night Sun Tarot first, and then look at Night Sun with the Alchemical Tarot. So you can see what I'm doing here is the Decent one, two, three, and the Ascent, one, two, three, and then some additional information with the seventh card. So, so I mean, I don't know, hopefully everyone understands the idea I'm talking about. Like in some spiritual, spiritual traditions, I think a lot of spiritual traditions, there's an idea that we're spiritual beings and we descend into human form. We do what we need to do here, and then we hopefully ascend back into some more spiritual form that's more knowledgeable or wise at that point. So for some reason, that's been on my mind. Not, not I wouldn't say on my mind, but I've just been thinking about it this evening. So, so the first card is like the beginning of the descent. First card is this one, which does look like kind of a descent. Like you have someone who looks like they're about to go into a cave or like underground. So like maybe on some kind of initiation that takes place in an underworld. Um, and then we've got next card from Night Sun, continuing the descent. So this one didn't make that much sense to me. Uh, Knight of Cups, like he looks pretty happy. So it's like an emotional thing happening, but I didn't understand how that fit into the descent with that card. And here's the point uh, of the third card in the descent so like the low point and there's this kind of weird looking person like her eyes look a little wild as the page of wands so wands is definitely like this fiery energy so i can pick up that with the red or like the orange red but i didn't understand too much about this other than the fact that it's like the colors are kind of happening here with the red orange and then the blue contrasting Here's Mo over here if you want to see him. Mo. And then I don't want to show you Jenny too much because I don't want you to see everything in my apartment. But here's Jen. Let's see. Jenny. Jenny. Anyway, those are my cats. Um, okay, so then when we begin the ascent, the first card beginning the ascent is this one, which kind of made sense to me, like, or at least in my life. Um, this is Four of Cups, and the way it's depicted, in my life, it reminds me of trying to be so perfect that it, it doesn't even make sense anymore. Like, she's balancing. It seems like trying to live up to some type of perfect image or perfect ideal that's not going to be 
possible or that won't be worthwhile. The next card on the Ascent, I don't want these to fall off. The next card on the Ascent is Judgment, which does make sense that there would be like a threshold where you have to kind of take stock on the way upwards in the Ascent. And then, okay, so this one didn't make that much sense to me at first. Um, Five of Pentacles. I do like the way that Five of Pentacles is depicted in the Night Sun Tarot. This is really cool. Like, you know, grappling with money and value in different ways. So I like the way it's depicted, but it didn't really make sense to me as the top of the ascent. So I'll put that back here. I mean, this is really cool. Hey, Jen. Do you want to be in this? Don't get on my knitting. Come on. Come on, don't get on my knitting. Wanna be in this video? Don't get on my knitting. No, no, no. Don't get on my knitting. Come on. Oh god. Let's go back to this. Um, so then I really like this card that's coming up next for the seventh card in the Night Sun Tarot. It's um okay, so it's interesting. It's the nine of swords, which is usually usually like super depressing. But look, they have this um this thing that's better about the Nine of Swords, we've got the swords there, and like these weeds, but then we have a flower and with the sun behind it. So the flower growing out of this Nine of Swords energy, this Nine of Swords. So um, I, this is like really hopeful and like I really like this. So uh, I've never seen a Nine of Swords depicted this way and I think it's really cool. I really like it. So this one made sense to me that seventh card made sense because it's like arising from this descent and even though it was like really dis uh disturbing or had people in a state of despair that there is going to be something coming out of it that is more hopeful but overall when i was looking at this i did not under sorry some cat hair right there if you see that um Overall, looking at this, I did not understand, like, what was really going on with this reading. And that is when I decided to go over top of it and do the exact same reading with it with the Alchemical Tarot. The Alchemical Tarot is wild. It's, like, really cool. I really like the images. It's, it's really weird, but a lot of nudity. It's so much nudity that they actually have, like, a super kind of obscene card for the lovers. And they have two cards in case you don't want to use the most obscene one, which is the first time I've seen that in a deck. Um, okay, so starting the Descent, we have here, I'm going to move these so we can see them better. So, oh my gosh, this is so hard to see. Okay, so remember we had this, um, what is this, Eight of Wands. We had the Eight of Wands for the beginning of the Descent, which like kind of made sense. Now, but we kind of got that confirmation because um, with this next deck, see if I can do this without messing everything up. So... This is really cool. The way, this is like four of pentacles, but what I really like about this image is that he is burying something. That really goes with this idea of the descent and with the first card, because this looks like she's going underground. And, and it's saying we're being buried. Yeah, like we're buried or going underneath the ground. Like that basically we're on a type of underworld journey in this human experience. You know, it's one way of looking at it. And then this one I really wanted more information about the, what is it, the Knight of Cups. I know it's emotional, emotional, but I didn't understand that position. What we had with the next card in that position is, let's see, Nine of Wands. But what I really like about this is the image. It's like a phoenix with some kind of weird dog or animal. I kind of think of this as like some kind of, more animalistic or more primal no I won't say that but it was like it's kind of like the phoenix rising from the ashes but not quite so I'm getting like the phoenix energy but in a different way maybe kind of a more gruesome form which still makes sense with the descent I feel like more than that cup card cups card okay and then this is really interesting so in the lowest part of the descent we had had page of wands which was like oh okay and then this card really makes sense this time We've got El Diablo as the lowest part of the descent, which obviously like makes more sense because 
it's a dark place to be in and it's not good to be in that. anyway but the, and then here's the turning point I'm beginning the ascent and when we had here what we had here at first was the four of cups and then with the alchemical tarot we're adding ten of swords which totally makes sense for the beginning of the ascent because we just had El Diablo so now we're in a position where we're really questioning life because we're like this sucks I feel like crap I feel kind of done and that's when we're really like I want to make this this ascent to back to a more spiritual or a better way of doing things and then we had judgment on the ascent and then we have four of swords which I think makes sense because <clears throat> it's like having that time for contemplation and rest and then at the top of the ascent, where it had been the Five of Pentacles. So this is really cool here. We have the Phoenix card. It's like Ten of Wands and is drawn, depicted as a phoenix rising from the fire or rising from the ashes. I thought that was really good in parallel with how we had gotten this card from the same deck earlier. So we see like the animal is still kind of in the flames and the phoenix is more rising from the flames. So it is different. I don't know exactly what this creature is supposed to mean. And then with the seventh card, we had gotten this really cool depiction of Nine of Swords, which is like really the best depiction of Nine of Swords I've ever seen in, towards, in terms of op optimism. And then the card from here is Eight of Swords, which is really interesting. I mean, first of all, we have like very close to the same card, but not quite. And then we had had El Diablo as the lowest point, point of the descent and here we have some kind of demonic griffin or something and it, it it is chained so it's kind of like um keeping our keeping the harshest parts of life in a way that they can't harm us or right, it's not going to be something it's kind of like a fence here like a strong boundary against the dark parts of life or like the despair parts of life so I actually think well, especially, I guess this makes it the most sense when you're thinking of, um, when we're looking at, like I already said, when we're looking at the lowest point of the descent, El Diablo, and then the seventh card, some type of weird griffin demon, but it is kind of, uh, within our, within our, um, control or something we can keep at bay not keep at bay I don't know just like it's not gonna it's something that can't be harmful like I feel like when we're looking at El Diablo here well it's a really interesting depiction I mean I'm sure I mean it's the alchemical tarot so I'm sure there's a lot of symbolism that uh it's not clear to me you know just looking at it but um oh here we go okay so here we've got the androgynous or double human form has a chain on the ankle and here instead the demon has the chain on the ankle so it has switched so we're coming out of some type of underworld so like beginning of the descent we're going into the underworld in order, I guess in order, so what's the point? Why are we going into the underworld on this human journey? That's a, a pretty dark place. Um, I don't know, people have different theories. I mean, I mean, is it to have that phoenix rising from the ashes wisdom of being transformed in ways that can be really beautiful? Probably, it's probably something like that. Okay, so these are my thoughts. I could go on, but I think that's good for now. Um, so one more time, if you wanted to do this type of spread with your own tarot deck for yourself, let's do it one more time. So it was the descent, one, two, three, ascent, one, two, three, and then like a seventh card for more information. And I do kind of recommend doing it twice with two different decks because it was really informative. It was really cool. Thanks so much for tuning in. See you next time. Bye.